So we're underneath the house and we're gonna what we're doing is we're doing a shower diversion. And this is a shower. You can tell the shower because it's an inch and a half pipe that comes down and has this P-trap where compared to this one right here, you'll see it goes straight down and into the sewer line. This is your vent pipe. So whenever you have a P-trap right here, with this is designed to keep the sewer gases from coming back up into the house because it gets water in, underneath this section right here and that keeps the water the gases from passing up into the house very important why is it important because when you make your cut and you divert your gray water you're, you're going to make a cut on this side and then divert outwards in this case we're also going to cut up here to allow this to turn the p-trap out towards the house and once we made that cut we're going to actually shorten it a bit so that way we can move this this trap higher up to give us more of a head what's called a head of the gray water meaning that we have higher elevation so when the gray water comes out it's going to be able to flow down gravity wise into the yard um okay so to give you more of a visual look what's what we're doing is that once we cut this it's going to come into this t and right here is going to be the gate valve and when you open the gate valve, the, the water will flow through, and then we're going to come back with a el another elbow. And so it's going to actually, there's, a gate, there's an elbow and a gate valve right there. So it's going to come, go through the gate valve and come back. And, that goes, and this goes to the sewer system. The gate valve is there, so when you open it, the, the sewage water comes back and goes straight to the sewer. When you close it, then the gray water is going to flow straight through out into the, the gray water field. So that's how visually it's going to look once we get it all done.